So recently someone brought up a question. Um, they wanted to get the benefit of all these phytonutrients, but they don't like to consume cruciferous vegetables. So I wanted to do a quick video just to explain that because you don't have to consume cruciferous vegetables. Now the benefit of cruciferous is the amount of phytonutrients, but those phytonutrients are in all vegetables and fruits and berries. So I wanna talk about plant pigments in general, the, the things that give different plants their color. So you have all these different vegetables that are yellow, red, orange, green, purple, and the plant's purpose of these pigments is to protect them against viruses, bacteria, microorganisms, as well as UV radiation. All these plants are involved in photosynthesis. So you have the sunlight that combines with the plant to create all these different chemical reactions. And of course, you're dealing with radiation. So part of the function of, a, of these pigments is to protect the plant against the harmful part of that radiation. But the cool thing is you can get protection against the UV radiation from the sun as well if you consume some of these vegetables. So let's talk about a few of them. Okay, so yellow squash, for example. So I went to the farmer's market uh, this weekend and I bought some squash and we sauteed it with some butter, a sea salt. It was delicious. But these yellow pigments have the ability to stimulate T cells and B cells within your immune system and decrease the risk of certain types of cancer. So I'm not gonna get into the chemical names of these phytonutrients, the carotenoids, like lutein, things like that. All you need to know is that the different colors have different chemical phytonutrients that give different effects. So like the red uh, pigment in tomatoes, for example, can decrease risk of certain types of cancer to the lung, heart, and prostate. Then you have the orange pigment, which is like the pre-vitamin A, which can then turn into the active form of vitamin A, retinol. But in like egg yolks, for example, you have the active form, which happens to be orange and yellow. Then we have the green pigment, which is in all the leafy greens, the wheatgrass, which has the ability to repair DNA and decrease the risk of certain types of cancer. Then we have the purple pigment, which is an eggplant, cabbage, it's antibacterial, antiviral, it has the ability to detoxify the liver and will decrease your risk for cancer. So the basic purpose of these colorful pigments are to help the plant survive, but when we consume them, we can also survive better. Thanks for watching. Then we have purple pigments, which would be an eggplant. It would be in, which has properties of anti, <laughs> cabbage, cabbage. Okay, so now I gotta wait till I stop the hiccups.